Hi YouTube, it's me. I'm back. Um, just doing an update. Haven't been on here in a while. Um, probably like a week. Um, just want to show you. Sorry, what my braces are looking like. Um, yep. I don't have a big, big change in them right now, but um, I do have a um, power chain on still. Um, lavender at the top. Uh, black at the bottom um, really haven't seen you know much going on lately um, I can tell that like the wire is sticking out more in the back so they did tell me that when that happens that does mean that um, it's still pulling which I know it does that like every day um, so yeah like the gap is completely completely gone I'm so excited um yay you know so I don't have to worry about that um I don't know when I'll be in rubber bands <laughs> I go back for another adjustment um August 3rd so we will see um my orthodontist said that it's not going to be too much going on that's like you know very exciting but I do believe he might put rubber bands on this time like I said the teeth I really had a big uh, overbite so I could tell that that's really come down uh, I did uh, insert like um, on snapchat I'm on snapchat it's kblackwell86 um, if you want to follow me you know or whatever hey that's fine I am on there um, a six month uh, update of what my teeth look like before like when I first got the braces on I just had the regular like bands on rubber bands you know I didn't have a power chain I didn't get that to like May yeah May um, of this year so um, yeah I do have that um picture on there i was trying to insert it on here don't know how to but yeah i figured out and i will let you guys definitely see um the progress like i'm telling you it was a journey like when i first got braces my expectation was so different i thought like overnight that they would just be like like this you know but it didn't happen that way um, I think when I stop looking and you know like the pictures that I see now it's just like from then when I first got them on January 24th it's like a big difference like when I tell you uh, I had somebody say hey you don't need braces your teeth look good you know already and I'm like well yeah you know you didn't see the progress of when I first got them when I first got them I think that they looked even worse because I mean obviously I got something foreign in my mouth and you know my teeth you know my mouth I mean it like my face actually swole up my lips they're already you know they're, I have four lips already so to honestly add something like foreign in my mouth metal it was just like insult to injury but I thank God that he made a way where I was able to get them at 30 years old. Um, now I'm 31. They did say that I will be in them for two years. So, I mean, you know, what I think, you know, it should be a year and a half. They see that, no, you need to have them for two years, which I'm okay with that. I mean, I guess the hardest part is over, you know, getting them on, getting the power chain, getting adjusted to it. So that was the hardest part. And actually, I can say that that is over. Um, I mean, literally, I'm excited about the progress. Um, I didn't have to get um, any teeth pulled or anything. Um, all I had was just like spacing. That was really a big issue. Um, I had an overbite, but I didn't have stacked teeth or anything like my canines. Uh, they were good. Everything was good. I just really, it was really to me, my problem area was my top teeth. They set out really, really far. Um, I can tell like when I talk like I used to um, you know it was hard for me to really talk because my teeth set out so bad 
but now like when i chew and talk now it's just like everything is trying to align up so i thank god for that you know um i could say this was the best investment i've ever made um i won't take it back i mean like i said if braces is something that you want you know we spend money on shopping like every day you know if i had gotten them sooner you know but i was just like no i just really didn't want to invest i just felt like it was just too expensive but i was tired and i was like you know what i don't i want to smile confident and i'm gonna tell you if you're smiling and hiding your smile and you're high you're talking like this and you're talking like that and you know you're kind of doing a little you know or duck lips all the time that was me i don't know about you but i always try to hide the smile i tried to smile big because i felt when i smiled like this it just looked so fake and things like that but that was only because i had an issue with my teeth but i honestly had to learn how to love myself with the gap because if i didn't love myself with the gap i don't feel that i would even love myself when the gap is closed and honestly i i wish i could have kept the gap that may sound cliche but i really had an overbite it wasn't even the gap that was the problem the overbite was the problem some people have a gap and they don't have an overbite well i had an overbite and i had spacing so that was the problem but my thing is if braces like i said before if something that you wanted all your life and you know go get it it don't matter what people say go get it and i think this was the best investment i've ever made i'm excited um i will be sure to keep you guys updated on my journey and everything i'm gonna try to film when i go to the orthodontist next time so you guys can see what they're doing or i maybe have somebody to go with me but yeah um like i said hopefully i get rubber bands next time i don't know um i'm actually on break so I will be sure to keep you guys updated with my progress and let you guys know what's going on. If you have any questions, be sure to click like, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and just, you know, let me know what you think, your comments, um, anything. So, yeah, thank you, YouTube, and I'll talk to you guys later.